So our five tips uh, to boost your confidence to help with your on-field performance. Number one, football is a skill and tactical sport. So you need to make sure you can consistently got a routine with your skills. Obviously, I'm stepping outside of my lane here. I'm a strength and conditioning coach. I'm not a skills tactical coach. Uh, so I'll defer to businesses like Josh Groydon, uh, the kicking consultant, Ben Stanley, Enhanced Football, Tim Schmidt, um, as well as Ball Magnets. There's some great resources that you can check out to up your game. But if you want to boost your confidence for your upcoming season, get your hands on the footy regularly and follow those resources in terms of uh, keeping your training interesting and engaging and work on things like your goal kicking, your field kicking, your hands in terms of in close and reactive work uh, and have a theme to your session. Make it make sure it's deliberate practice. But that would be number one. If you want to boost your confidence, practice and have a daily routine. Number two, I think it goes a long way, particularly for our younger uh, developing athletes, improve your ability to produce maximal force, i.e. strength. So things like how much you can um, press your body weight, how how many chin-ups you can do, so your pulling strength, these things will help you in, in, the, in the contested side of the game. Um, your leg strength to be able to hold your feet and keep your feet uh, and, and not lose your, your legs when you're on the ground, particularly in our single leg positions like kicking, jumping and accelerating um, So and your agility. So make sure you've got good leg strength, particularly single leg leg strength. Um, so imp- make sure that you're, if, you're, if you're at the stage where you're lifting weights, progressively overload those weights over a period of time. And if you're still working on more your, your lower, le- lower level movements, like body weight movements, try and uh, increase the, the range of motion so you're challenging progressively overloading yourself that way or increase your repetition so you're challenging your, um, your muscles that way so continually progress your, your strength in the gym that's really important and also learn how to apply that on the field there's definitely a big difference between gym strength and on-field strength and some athletes have both and they will um, definitely go a long way in boosting their confidence and some athletes may be really strong in the gym, but they haven't learned how to apply that in the in the contest, in a jostling, wrestling situation on the field to win the football. So if you've got your strength in a good spot in the gym, keep working on that, uh, but spend some time and energy with either a wrestling coach, a combat coach, or a football coach to uh, be able to apply that force and, and strength on the ground to dominate your opponent. So that would be second tip for boosting your confidence. Uh, for those tuning in, we've got Instagram going again this week. So if you've got any questions around this topic, feel free to hit the comment button below and I'll answer your questions. Number three, gaining your critical mass, i.e. muscle mass. So uh, by having more lean muscle mass, it will also assist your strength on the field. Um, so that will go a long way. But also um, it goes a long way in terms of just your overall self-esteem. So if you're low in confidence, um, Another tip that can help your confidence is just in in terms of general life confidence is boosting muscle mass. I found a lot of athletes have had a better performance on on the field just simply because their self-esteem and how they feel about themselves has improved for the work that they did in the gym and how they look in the mirror. So number three in my experience has been packing on the muscle mass. So you can do that through particularly muscles around your trunk and your midline um, to make it more specific to football. So uh, an easy things that you can do to, to do that is add 10 to 15 minutes of core work, not just static core work, but rotational power core work. So things like wood chops with a band, um, med ball throws, so you're rotating through your hips. Um, use, uh, check out our YouTube channel for our power exercises with landmine or torsonator exercises are another good one for rotational power. Um, uh, for guys that need to gain and girls that need to gain some muscle mass around their arms, to have a bit more body armor for their shoulders i'll add 10 sets of arms and shoulders so i think you could do three sets of biceps three sets of triceps and four sets of shoulders and it's the athlete's choice so they can do that twice a week there's an extra 200 reps 10 sets of 10 um, that they can do to to gain some critical math and, and boost your confidence number four train with an older group or a, a level of footballers that are above you so let's say your brother plays in the under 17s and you're in the under 15s see if you can join in with the under 17s for a couple of sessions or for, for a week for a few weeks over a monthly block of course that's going to challenge your confidence but when you go back to training with your mates you, you've been training at a higher standard so now 
when you go back to your mates, you're going to feel a lot more or your your normal age group or perhaps you're training with a NAB league team and you're going back down to your community level, you're going to feel far more confident going back down to that level because you've trained at a higher standard. Okay, so tip number four would be train with an older group or train with a higher standard or maybe you're in the off season and you're catching up with mates. Don't just catch up with the same mates. Try and challenge yourself and train with the best football that you know during the off season to improve your game. So that would be tip number four. And, and you know, embrace making mistakes uh, in that situation because they're going to happen. You're going to get caught out, but you're going to learn, you're going to grow, and you're going to be better for it for the long term. And then to round out our five, my five tips to improve your confidence for season 2022 will be watch the vision of your best performance. So start getting your parents to film your games. Um, this is critical, something that's done in the AFL and has been done for a long period of time is video analysis. So you can see exactly what you're doing, what you're doing well, um, what you could be doing better. Sit down with a coach, review your game. It doesn't even need to be a coach, just someone uh, maybe at your football club that uh, has experience in, in video analysis or hire a coach to, to review your game and get some feedback.